Hello guys, welcome to my fourth, fifth lecture on seeing the reinforced beam. Today I'll be doing one more problem of seeing the reinforced beam. So the we have a problem where we have to calculate calculate moment of resistance of a singly reinforced beam reinforced beam of size 400 400 by 650 mm this 650 mm is your total depth overall depth which is reinforced is reinforced with we have three cases case a reinforced with six number of three numbers of 16 mm dia bar 16 mm dia bar case b we have six numbers of 25 mm dia bar and case c we have eight number of 25 mm dia bar use fe415 grade steel and m20 grade concrete so we have a beam of this 400 mm width then depth is this overall depth overall depth is 650 mm we also have a clear cover clear cover of 50 mm 50 mm here clear cover of 50 mm so first we need to calculate so step one we have to identify which all things we need to calculate so first thing we need to calculate is moment of resistance of all the three cases then we also need to find the uh, area of area of steel AST for limiting condition that is AST limiting so these two things we need to calculate so our next step is input data which all things have been given in the problem so input data so first thing we have been given is uh, width of the beam that is 400 mm then second is capital D capital D is your overall depth overall depth is 650 mm clear cover that is D dash you can call this as D dash also so D dash D dash is equal to 50 mm so we, we have uh, overall depth and uh, clear cover so we can calculate effective depth this D effective depth is equals to D capital D minus D dash which is equals to 650 minus 50 mm so effective depth is 600 mm so next step is uh, we need to calculate XU limiting the value of the value of XU limiting so as per IS456 we have the formula for axial limiting is equals to 0.48 d that is effective depth for fe415 we have grade of steel as fe415 so axial limiting is equals to 0.48 into effective depth is how much 600 which is equals to 288 mm so now we we have effective depth we have area of steel uh, we need to calculate now we have to calculate actual neutral axis neutral axis that is xu so for xu we have condition uh, that compression is equals to tension so we will equate the formula for compression and equate the formula for tension so for compression we have formula 0.36 fck d xu xu is here depth of neutral axis and for ten, uh, tension we have 8.87 fy ast area of steel is already given so so we have xu is equals to 0 
Fy. So this formula becomes 0.87 Fy AST upon 0.36 Fck B. We need to calculate Xu that is depth of neutral axis. So we have 0.87 Fy is 415 AST is three number for case one. We are calculating this for case A. So point a three three numbers of 16 mm bar. So d square by d square by four by d square by four. We have this F C K as M20 grade one grade. So F T K is equals to 20. B is 400. So X U is equals to let's let's calculate this value of X U. X U is 4.50.41 mm, which is very less than your, which is very less than your X U limiting. Therefore, a condition is satisfied. Hence, we have under reinforced section. Okay. So now we have already calculated X U. We have uh, that uh, uh, dimension of the beam. We have area of steel. So we can calculate moment of resistance. So next is moment of resistance MR for case one, case A, where we have three numbers of 16 mm dia bar. So M MR is equals to C into lever arm. C is nothing but your compression force, and lever arm is your the the for moment. Lever arm we use for calculating moment. So lever arm is nothing but small d minus 0.42 xu. Which, if you see that uh, if that stress diagram, so this is your tension. Somewhere here is your compression. So this this distance is your lever arm. So for both tension and compression, the lever arm is d minus 0.42 xu. So compressive force is 0.36 fck b xu into L A L is D minus 0.42 X U. So 0.36 F C K is 20. B is 400. X U is 50.41. And D is 600 minus 0.42 into 50.41, which is equals to 126. Zero five into ten raised to six newton mm. So we can convert it to kilonewton meter. So one twenty six point zero five divided by ten raised to six. This is in term of kilonewton meter. So this moment of resistance we have calculated is your design moment of resistance or your factored moment of resistance. So unfactored to calculate the unfactored moment of resistance, we have to divide this MR by 1.5. This is nothing but your factor of safety. So MR is 126.05 divided by 1.5, which is equals to 84.03 kilonewton meter. So this is MR unfactored case A. Similarly for case B and C, case B and case C, you can calculate with same formula. So for case B, case B we have MR is equals to 528.09. This is You are factored. This is your factored, not unfactored. For unfactored, you need to further multiply this with 1.5. For case C, MR is equals to 596. These all are factored moment of resistance. Now, so these these two cases you can you can do by by your own using the above same formula, same procedure. So you can you can get. The factored and unfactored moment of resistance as these two values. So next is to find AST limiting. AST 
limiting so for a so next we are going to find the value of ast limiting for ast limiting we will use the maximum maximum moment of resistance from above condition from from above three conditions so what we have the maximum value is mr we will take 596 which is your mu limiting or m limiting whatever you want to say so i'll call it as mu limiting mu limiting is equals to 596 kN meter so this is your mu limiting so for we have formula for ast limiting ast limiting is nothing but your mu limiting upon same formula for tension into lever arm so this is your thing but your this is your lever arm i have directly written the, the formula for um, ast limiting so in place of mu i have taken mu limiting in place of xu in the place of xu i have taken xu limiting so this is not this is not a new formula this is same for the same the same this is the same formula we have used for calculation of mu limiting so we have we have uh, values of mu limiting xu limiting so we can directly cal calculate mu and your limiting is 596 into 10 to 6 this 10 to 6 is because we uh, because whole these terms uh, are in newton the, this is in newton mm square this is newton this is mm this is mm so better we convert this in newton mm to to maintain the uniformity of units f is 415 newton mm square mm square d is your 600 then 0.42 x your limiting is 288 so a ast limiting is equals to 3445.9 mm square this is your ast limiting so the the this the this was the problem where we have calculated your uh, three conditions we have been given three conditions three more three designs where we have to calculate moment of resistance for each conditions we have calculated the moment of resistance for each condition then we have calculated this ast limiting so so thus we have con concluded this problem and we have finished and the design of single reinforced beam we have taken almost three four problems uh, and one theory lectures so a total we have five lectures on this design of single reinforced beam so from so next lecture we will be taking uh, design of double reinforced beam till then have a nice day take care and if you have any doubt you can comment with your doubts so you can ask some some extra questions if you have some design problems you can uh, write in the comment section we will come come up with solution if the number of the if the number of uh, people having the problem if the number of people having that problem is more then we will solve this problem and we will upload a video so thank you have a nice day take care Bye-bye.